Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and uh, today I bring you a broken hair dryer. And we're going to take parts out of this broken hair dryer and turn it into a uh, homemade foam cutter to cut, you know, chunks of foam and stuff like that. So first, take apart the hair dryer. I've already undone the bolts. Take the top off of it. And what we're going for is the heating element here. I've already disconnected the wires in here, so take the heating element out. And if you look inside the heating element, there's these wires. And these, they're made of a special type of metal. I'm not sure uh, what kind, but it's so when you run voltage through them, they don't fall apart like a normal copper wire or something would. But you can unstring the wire, and you can see it's kind of coiled. So we can try to stretch it out to the best of abilities. I'll drag you over to this little piece on my workbench here. I'll just tie this around. And we're just going to stretch this out. And pull it as tight as I can. Take most of the wave out of it. Now you're not going to need that much wire for a foam cutter, but you will have extra because the uh, wire does get hot and breaks. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's not perfectly straight, but hey, we're doing it at home. So it was free. So after we got it stretched out, we need to build a rig for it. As you can see, I already have one constructed. Flip it over here. I use some old junk PVC. These are about six inches long. Uh, it's half inch PVC. A little three inch pipe there and a couple of 90s. You can see, just use a couple of 90s. Need a little bit of wire. Uh, you can get away with actually using the cord off the hair dryer too. It'll save you a little bit on the wire. Um, I put a switch in mine. Um, you probably don't have to put a switch, but it's really handy to have. Uh, it beats disconnecting and reconnecting the battery together all the time. You're going to need a 9 volt battery. That'll uh, provide enough amperage to heat up the wire. So as you can see, I ran the wires, one up this tube here, then I ran another one up this tube, and then in between that I just put a quick little switch there. Then I use these little fittings here so they slip over a bolt. I drilled holes for the bolt right here. Now if I get this to go back through here. You put the bolt through like that. this bolt through, and you have that right there. I'm going to take a piece of our wire, I'll put a washer on the uh, bolts here, and then behind the washer we'll wrap the wire. the washer on it. Tighten that down really good. Now you really only need to make these finger tight because uh, as I said the wire itself is going to uh, get hot and you'll have to replace it eventually. And then we're going to tighten that and make it fairly tight on the, uh, between the two bolts here. You can hear the noise. I don't think that, no, it's not properly tuned. And after you have that, just cut off your excess here. I have about three feet of wire coming off of this. That way I can either run it on a 9-volt battery or a power supply. Uh, I'm just going to run this on a 9-volt power supply right now. So I'm going to plug my power supply in. Now when I kick the switch on, it's going to start heating up this wire up here. And you don't want it red hot. You want, you know, maybe uh, to the point where you can kind of hover your hand over it, you feel a little bit of heat. Um, you might want to play with, uh, you know, 
different types of wire, different battery. But uh, this seems to be working out for me at 9 volts. And you turn it on, wait a couple of seconds, let that wire heat up a bit, and kind of feel the heat coming off the wire there. And we can just cut right through the foam. Look at that, it just went right through it. Sticks a little bit sometimes. Um, I almost touched that to wipe that off. That would have been uh, rather stupid. As you can see, it works great though. You can cut all kinds of designs, anything you want, into the uh, foam. Isn't that really neat? That is a really DIY way, super cheap, super simple way to make yourself a foam cutter so you can make different projects with foam. Um, I do have a piece of acrylic here. I haven't even tried this yet. Let's see if it gets hot enough that we can actually cut into it. As you can see, it's kind of kind of working barely there. Maybe if I could crank up the voltage, it'd work a little bit better. But uh, that could uh, work. I tried hooking this wire up to a drill battery, and it got red hot and broke instantly. I'll give you a little closer demo of cutting this foam. That just goes through like hot butter. But there you have it, as a cheap DIY foam cutter. And that's all I have for you today. Until next time, build stuff and have fun.